What's up everybody, it's Robin Gaming here. So E3 2014 is actually closer than you may think. Only two months that we still have to wait um, for this to start. And for those of you who don't know what E3 is, it's pretty much this gaming convention uh, that takes place every year in June. And it's pretty much the time you should be most excited to be a gamer, to be honest. Because not only will the press get to play all these great games that are going to be coming out in the coming time, uh, but at the same time, all these big game companies, I, I talk about EA, Ubisoft, Nintendo, Microsoft, Sony, um, they will all be having these press conferences in which they will announce new games that are coming out, uh, showing trailers of upcoming games that we already know about, all that kind of stuff. It is literally insane. It is the best time to be a gamer. This is what you want to take a look at if you're looking forward to a certain game, because here's, uh, you know, this is where all the new information will be shared with pretty much everyone, the press, and at the same time, all the fans at home who are watching from their own computer and that kind of stuff. So um, this E3 in particular is absolutely going to be nuts and why is that because I've said the same thing last year actually but last year we had the new consoles of course that were just announced uh, the PS4 the Xbox one were looking to come out in that year uh, and at E3 was pretty much a time where Sony and Microsoft had to give games a reason to buy these systems now we have the systems you know a lot of you will have a next-gen cons uh, you know console in their house already same same kinds for me of course I have the PS4 standing here in my bedroom right now um, and of course from now on it's going to be about the software because Sony, Microsoft at the same time also Nintendo and all these other third party publishers will have to show uh, the people why they bought these you know systems and what games they're going to be playing in the coming time and that's really what this E3 is for we've had all these great launch games that were pretty much just you know showcasing the graphical potential of all these consoles uh, but gameplay not so much it's not like these were the games that you that you'd be uh, uh, calling the best games at the end of a generation like kill and our infamous it just wasn't the case we are looking forward to the bear games and I'm talking about an uncharted 4 I'm talking about uh, I don't know whatever we've seen announced already Assassin's Creed unity that kind of stuff it is going to be great so Let's start off with actually uh, the game publishers really quickly. EA and Ubisoft actually will also uh, have their own press conference as always. What I'm looking forward to from EA is first of all Dragon Age Inquisition because I've been a huge fan of Dragon Age from the start. Um, you know, Dragon Age 1 I thought was a great game and the second one disappointed me a little bit. Uh, but with Dragon Age Inquisition they're looking to be going back to that original format, uh, you know, from the, from the first game and... You know, graphically also it just looks great because it, it will be coming out on the next-gen consoles only and on the PC, of course. Um, I just can't wait for it. I want to see more of that game. That's that's a, that's a must-buy for me at the end of this year. At the same time, though, Mirror's Edge 2 was announced last year. And that's the game I've been looking forward to for maybe about five years now. You know, the first Mirror's Edge came out in 2008. I have been a big fan from the start of that as well. It was definitely one of my favorite games from the last generation, actually. So, um you know, hopefully we'll see something of the second game now because it's been a year, we haven't seen anything so far, uh, but at the same time there are some rumors that the game might not be coming out until 2016, so that could mean that they'll actually hold off with, with showing stuff even at this E3, so it's going to be interesting. And at the same time, there are rumors that a new Battlefield will already be announced from Visceral Games. I don't know what to think about that, I am a pretty big fan of the Battlefield franchise of course, uh, I actually really enjoyed Battlefield 4, as, even though it has, you know, it definitely has some problems but I still think it, it is a great game um, but at the same time you know th this one isn't looking to be made by dice but by visceral games so I'm I'm interested to see you know what they will be doing uh, with the franchise I hope I, I just hope EA doesn't milk it too much right I mean this is one of those franchises I, I love and I have been for you know a, a lot of years already I don't want franchises li like this to be ruined um, but of course EA will be talking about their sports games about all these 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 great games that they actually bring out I really think EA EA is actually a really good company um, if you're talking about bringing out games because a lot of the games I really like come from EA I just have to be honest about that as much as people might hate them so next up we have of course Ubisoft they already announced Assassin's Creed Unity and it's supposed to be the first real next-gen Assassin's Creed so if you say that I actually want to see why it is next-gen not just graphically I want to see new gameplay I want to see what you're doing
doing to that franchise to really say this is next gen. So please Ubisoft explain that to me at this E3. Uh, Far Cry 4 has been rumored for a long time, was a big hit in 2012. Actually quite a surprise because I don't think Ubisoft really expected that at first. Um, even though the franchise has always had quite some success, Far Cry 3 in particular did very well. So that's great. I mean I'm looking forward to a Far Cry 4. Might be a bit too soon already but you know at the same time I mean I I'm ready for it to be honest. So um, yeah I mean give that announcement to me. I I'm happy with that. And then last of all we have The Division which of course was already announced at last year's E3 um, and I just can't wait to see actual real although we we've seen gameplay it's not really clear how the game is actually going to play what it's what it's really about um, even though we know it's this kind of third person action RPG uh, you know with, with shooter uh, elements in it shooter gameplay and that kind of stuff I want to see more of it so please do that as well Ubisoft and I think you'll have a killer press conference because you have been for the past two years with these great announcements and and I mean in the end I can't wait for the Ubisoft press conference either so next up we have Nintendo and of course what Nintendo needs to do is just two things one uh, get a price cut for the Wii U you know announce that make the Wii U maybe like 250 or 300 euros slash dollars that's when when people will actually buy it because right now the price is just a bit too high seeing as it's very similar to the price of a PS4 and let's be honest the PS4 is just more of a real next-gen system if you compare it to the Wii U I'm not hating on Nintendo at all I've been a big fan since I was young um, but it's clear that Nintendo needs to do something about their console the Wii U uh, and at the same time of course more games and we've been saying that for the past years already uh, sure Mario Kart is coming out Sm Smash Brothers um, but show a new Zelda and show us a new IP because that's really what I want to see from Nintendo something original something fresh maybe a bit out of the box something you wouldn't expect from a company like Nintendo like um, I don't know maybe some some kind of pretty violent game that's not something they do right I, I think it would be uh, cool to see that from them and then that's pretty much all, all there is to say about Nintendo so next up we have Microsoft and um, of course I, I'm sure Microsoft has a lot of games uh, that they're holding holding back from us you know great announcements we know that Halo 5 will be shown there we know that more footage from Quantum Break will be shown which is a game I am personally really interested in and that may be you know sort of like the reason I might still get an Xbox One in the future but what I really want to see from Microsoft is also a pretty obvious move but it's a it's an Xbox One without a Kinect included I mean that's really the thing that's holding a lot of people off uh, from buying this console so please Microsoft just unbundle the Kinect. Don't include that with your, with your console because it, it only increases the price by a hundred dollars slash euros. Maybe they'll even really surprise us with say a starter pack or something like that that doesn't include a Kinect and at the same time has like less uh, memory so not 500 gigabytes but say 200 or 250 and they could possibly offer that for uh, 350 euros or something like that. That would be pretty insane. That's some direct competition for the PS4 right there. Uh, and then of course talking about the PS4, what does Sony need to do? First of all, if Microsoft does announce that they will, um, you know, unbundle the Kinect from the console, you know, come with a with a pack for say 400 or 350, of course Sony needs to drop that price. Uh, I'd say they'll probably drop it, you know, to 350, but that is only if Microsoft decides, you know, to not include the Kinect anymore with that console. That's really the only thing. If Microsoft is not going to do that, then I'm sure Sony is not going to be cutting the price for the PS4 yet. It's just too uh, soon for that. You know, if Microsoft really decides to, to to directly compete with the PS4 with the same price point, then I really think Sony is going to drop that, that price. And I mean, like I said, I've bought the PS4. I'm really happy with the console right now. At the same time, there's some things I'm, I'm still unhappy about and that I would like to see improved. I'll be talking about that in my video this Sunday. But yeah, I hope Sony will talk about some, you know, f future patches for the PS4, updates, stuff that they have in mind to really improve the console even more. And last of all, of course, the same story with all these companies, Sony needs to show the games and I'm sure they will be doing that. Um, First of all, Uncharted 4 is the game I can't wait for. That's the moment I've been living up to for two years now. I want to see the next Uncharted. I want to see actual gameplay, what it's going to look like on the PlayStation 4, the graphics, uh, uh, the gameplay, what has been changed, is it still Nathan Drake, all that kind of stuff. And we're going to see a huge trailer. We're going to see, say, a 10-minute live demo for that. It is going to be crazy I just I absolutely cannot wait to see Uncharted 4 you all know that you know how much of a fan of that franchise I am so 
Uh, you know, I can't wait for that personally. But Sony has like, what, nine more studios that we don't know what they're doing right now. So um, maybe we'll see Gorilla's new IP. We might actually get to see The Last Guardian finally. And, you know, of course, they'll announce that it's going to the PS4 and not the PS3 anymore. Um, yeah, all in all, I mean... I hope I kind of, you know, gave you an example of why I can't wait for this year's E3. It is going to be insane. I've said that a, a couple of times now, but it's just true, right? I mean, if you look at all these things that we're going to see there, it's clear that you should be very much looking forward to this year's E3. So that was pretty much my early E3 predictions and wish list type of video for this year. Of course, I'll be doing a lot of coverage on the E3, but that's still, you know, quite a while away, a few months, like I said. Um, but at the same time, it's closer than you may think, actually. And I'll be doing some more predictions, you know, as we get closer to the event itself. And then, of course, when E3 happens, um, you can be sure to see a lot of stuff regarding, you know, that whole convention on this channel. But for now, um, of course, let me know what you are looking forward to this, at this year's E3. Can't you wait for an Uncharted 4 like me? Are you still holding off with buying some of these next-gen consoles? And are you hoping for a price drop or something like that? Just let me know all that kind of stuff in the comments. And then for now, I'd like to thank you a lot for watching. I hope to see you again next time.